Hi, this is Edwin from Get Notes. We have a, a Revit Schedule 101 series, and this is the first video. We are going to create a Revit Schedule. So, Revit Schedule basically is a view. That's why you can find the tool on the View tab. And then in, in the Create panel, you can find the schedules. So let's create the schedule or quantities. Here we can see that you have a category of what you want to count. Let's say here we want to create a door schedule. Okay, automatically it will create the category name and then give the schedule. You can rename this, of course, uh, but this time we just uh, use the default name. Uh, the in this first video we create the schedule building components so, and then we click okay. okay next Revit will ask you uh, what field what information that you want to put in your schedule so let's say that we want to know uh, in what level this uh, door is placed and then we want to know uh, what type is the door let's just put type and then click add parameters we want also to know the size the height and also the width and we want to know how many the, uh, the doors available okay that's it then you can click uh, click ok to create the schedule By default, we already have a lot of parameters to put in our schedule field. Uh, let's check the available schedule field. Uh, go to the properties palette. Next to the fields parameter, click edit. And now we can see all the available parameters for doors. However, uh, we don't have area here. For example, I want to know uh, the area of my door uh, I can create a new parameter using calculated value let's say this is the door area and the discipline let's just use it as common and type uh, let's use area you need to select a correct type for this otherwise Revit will give a, an error warning Let's just use area and for the formula we can click here height times let's click now uh, and add the width okay let's multiply this by two because i want to calculate the front and back of this door let's click okay now we have the door area parameter i want this position is after the height and width so just click ok okay now i have the door height the width and also the door area let's uh, see one more uh, custom parameter here we have the uh, door size on uh, door type uh, this door ty type is named by its size uh, but here we see that it's not only the size but also has the um, fire rating and this one it doesn't show any size information at all I don't want uh, to be like this I want it to be consistent so I can create another field this time I will use the combined parameter the first one I want to show the width and I want to show the height here we can see the preview it shows that a width uh, slash height uh, let's change this I want to use this um, 
as x and this one i want to show millimeters okay um, let's just add one more space okay so this is what i want i can click ok and i arrange the order and i remove this one i click ok okay now it shows uh, all the doors with its size just like i want to that is the first of our rapid schedule 101 series uh, we will publish more tutorials soon just stay tuned